Open your heart to me, my son, my daughter, because I want to enter it and bring you peace, love, and a new vision for what is to come. I am the one speaking to you now, and what I want to tell you can change the course of your life. I know you better than you know yourself. I know every thought, every hidden desire, every doubt you carry in silence, and I need you to understand that it is not by chance that you are reading these words now. I see what you do not see. I know what is about to happen in your life, and I come to prepare you, to protect you, and even to avoid what may come. What I am about to reveal to you now will require your trust. There is a choice before you, and it is closer than you imagine. You can continue as you are, or you can decide to open your heart to me. Let me come in and transform everything. But the choice is yours. I do not knock on the door for you. It is up to you to open it to leave it closed, to stay, or to go. Now, write in the comments with great faith. I open my heart to God and allow him to do what only he can do. There is something moving in your life at this exact moment, something you cannot see but that I already know in detail. Maybe you are feeling a weight in your chest, an unexplained anguish, or a fear of losing control. I tell you now that this does not come from me. I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and balance. Comment. I receive and allow the peace that comes from God to begin to envelop me. There are people around you who do not understand what you are experiencing. They see from the outside but cannot feel what is inside you and sometimes that makes you feel alone. True, but here is a truth you need to absorb. You have never been alone. Even in the loneliest moments, I was there, holding every piece of your broken heart, waiting for the right moment to restore you. Comment with great faith. I am never alone, and remember, my son, I am the God who restores. You have gone through challenges, some that almost made you give up. But I tell you that those struggles are not in vain. Each one of them has a purpose greater than you can understand now. I am building something in you, something that will make you stronger, wiser, and closer to me. Right. I accept God's process, because this process, no matter how painful it may seem, is preparing you for something greater than you can imagine. Pay attention because there is a spiritual movement happening in your favor. I am sending answers to prayers you made a long time ago. Prayers you may have even forgotten. I do not forget anything. Nothing you said in secret was ignored. Now at the right time, the answers are coming. Comment. My prayers are being answered and trust that everything is moving according to the perfect plan I have for you. I see what is to come. I see the obstacles that will still arise in your path, but I also see the end of that path, and I guarantee the end is victory, no matter how difficult things may seem now. What I have for you is greater. I have already written your ending, and it is of hope, peace, peace and joy. Right. I trust in the ending that God wrote for me, and let this certainty calm your heart. Now, there is something I need to alert you to. Not all the doors that open are for you to enter. The enemy will try to put shortcuts in front of you, 
paths that seem easy but lead to confusion. That's why I tell you to pray and ask for discernment. I am ready to guide you in every step, but you need to hear my voice. Comment I hear the voice of God and know that I will never let you walk alone on paths that have not been prepared by me. You also need to understand that true peace does not come from circumstances, but from me. Maybe you are waiting for things around you to change, to finally feel at peace. But I tell you the peace that I give you is beyond the circumstances. It does not depend on what happens outside, but on what I do inside you. Right. I receive the peace of God and begin to experience this peace that the world cannot give nor take away. I see the dreams you have kept deep down in your heart, those you are afraid to even speak out loud. I know how much you have fought to achieve them and how frustrated you have been when things did not happen as you expected. But I tell you now, do not give up on those dreams I have placed in you. They may seem far away, but I am the God of the impossible, and what is impossible for you is simple for me. Comment I believe in the impossible and keep your hope alive because I am working on every detail. Now a final word for your heart. I am not a distant God. I am the God who is with you at every step, in the moments of pain, in the moments of joy, in the moments of doubt. I am here. You may not always feel it, but I am closer than you imagine. Right. God is with me. And remember this every time fear or doubt tries to dominate you. Give me your life without fear or mistrust, and let me guide your paths. I have control. I know what is best for you. Open your heart, because what I have to give you is much greater than anything you can imagine. You are my son, and I will never abandon you. Now that you have opened your heart, my son, listen carefully to what you feel. That peace, which starts to fill every corner of your being, is the beginning of a journey unlike any other. What I am about to share with you is not only for this moment, but for every step you take from now on. From today, you will no longer walk as you did before. There is a part of you that still doubts, questioning if you can truly trust everything you are reading now. I want to tell you that doubt is natural. It is part of who you are, but do not let it dominate your heart. Today I am planting a seed in your life. It will grow over time if you allow it with each decision you make. What you feed it with will be like water for that seed, and it will bloom in ways you never imagined but be careful not to water that seed with fear or distrust. Right. I water my faith with confidence and continue reading because there is something greater that you must understand. You have always looked for small signs and confirmations that I am by your side, that I listen to your prayers. Today, I want to teach you to live beyond the signs. I want you to live by the certainty that I have already planted within you. Signs are important, yes, but do not cling to them. My presence in your life does not depend on what you see or feel, but on what you know in your spirit. Live by faith, not by signs and begin practicing this from now on. Have you ever wondered why some battles seem so endless? 
Why does it seem that, even when you win, another difficulty quickly arises? Let me share a secret that few know. Battles are not the problem. They are the framework for a larger picture. What truly matters is who you become in the midst of them. The enemy may think that he is weakening you with each fight, but what he does not understand is that I am strengthening you in every detail. Right. I am molded by the strength of God and understand that your greatest victories are not only at the end of the battle, but in who you become during the fight. Now, here comes a revelation that will surprise you. What you are experiencing right now, this phase that seems difficult and uncertain, is not a full stop, but a comma. You have not yet seen the end because I have not yet written everything. A new chapter is being prepared, one that will lift you to places you did not even imagine. And here is the detail that few understand. It is not your effort that will take you there, but my grace. Right. I trust in the grace of God. And let this truth change the way you view your challenges. Today, I give you a mission. Stop seeing problems as stones on the road and start seeing them as stepping stones. Every obstacle is an opportunity for you to climb higher. I never promised that the path would be easy, but I promised that I would be with you every step of the way. No matter how steep the climb, it will never be too much. Just right. I climb with God by my side and begin seeing difficulties as opportunities to grow. Now, something even deeper. There are things you need to let go of. Not to lose, but to win. There are pains, resentments, and even people who are holding you back preventing you from seeing what I have prepared for you. I know it is not easy to let go, but if you trust me, you will see that what I am about to place in your hands is far greater than what you hold now. Right. I am ready to receive from God and let me do the exchange. You have been called for much more than you can imagine. The world will try to convince you that you must settle, that you must accept the minimum. But I am not a god of limits. What I have planned for you goes beyond any expectation, and if you allow me, I will take you to places where your faith will be renewed every day. Right. I accept God's plan and open my mind to the impossible. There is a greater purpose in the small things in your life, the things you consider insignificant. I use them for my plans. Every gesture of kindness, every word of encouragement you give to others, every time you choose good over evil. All of this is being written down, and at the right time, it will be rewarded in ways you cannot even imagine. Son, this is the beginning of what I promised you, and it is just starting. What I am about to do in your life will be different from anything you have experienced. And remember, you will never be alone on this path. I am the God who walks by your side, and together we will experience the extraordinary. But do not forget, son, you need to open your heart to me. When I said I would seek my sheep, I was speaking about you. When you feel lost, when the difficulties seem too great to bear, I come personally to meet you. I do not send another. I, myself, take care of you. I do not ignore your pains or your fears. I see every detail, and what I desire most is to bring you rest, true peace, that weight you carry is only ready to be relieved by me, because thus says the Lord, Behold, 
I will search for my sheep and make them rest. Ezekiel 34, 11. I never abandon my own. When you move away, I seek you. And when you call me, I come without delay. My promise is this. I will make you rest. I will give you what the world cannot offer. The rest I bring is not only physical, it is for your soul. Even when everything seems confusing, I am preparing a place of peace within your heart. Today, I tell you, no matter how hard you feel or how difficult the path seems, I am with you. I do not let anything escape my care, and just as I seek each sheep, I seek you. Trust me, because the rest I offer is true and eternal. The enemy is trying to distance you from this message right now. He wants to attack you with diseases, and he knows that at this moment you feel you do not have enough strength to overcome. He knows the barriers you have faced, both in your mind and in your spirit. That is why it is urgent that you come closer to me. Pay attention to the signs, because I want to free you from the darkness that threatens to envelop you. I trust in God so I guide you with clarity in what to do. My angels warn you that there is someone in your path who is blocking your financial blessings. This blockage may come from a person you did not expect. Soon, that person will be revealed. They are very envious, and if you continue with them, you may lose what you have fought so hard to build. Comment. Amen and let me guide the next steps. A complicated situation is approaching. I know you have already faced many struggles, and maybe you feel like you can't take it anymore. But I am here to tell you that I am your strength. Someone close to you is making decisions that can impact your life in a painful way. But I ask you, do you trust me enough to let me deal with this? Comment. I trust in God and release that weight. The enemy is trying to create chaos in your path, especially in your finances. He thinks that if he shakes your material security, he will also shake your faith. But he forgets one thing. I am the owner of everything. And what is yours, nobody can take. Don't let appearances fool you because what seems like a loss now is actually a preparation for something much greater. Right. I trust in God's plans and wait because your answer is on the way. Pay attention to this. There is someone around you who is not happy with your growth. You know when a person pretends to be by your side but inside only carries envy. I am warning you now to be attentive. It is not time for confrontation. It is time for silent distancing. That person will not accompany you in the next phase because I have a greater purpose for you. There is also an emotional challenge that you didn't expect. Maybe a special relationship for you is about to go through a big test. Don't try to solve everything alone because some things can only be solved with prayer. Right. I trust that God is in control and let me work on this situation. Don't worry about what other people think because I know your heart and that's what matters. I'm opening doors that you didn't even know existed. You thought you were losing, but in reality, you were being prepared comment. Amen, and let me guide you. You have never been alone in the middle of an invisible battle, a battle that goes beyond what you can perceive, but here is the secret that many never understood. It is not about defeating the enemy. It is about remembering who has already won for you. I have already won. Now listen to this carefully. 
there is a hidden truth that few know. Every tear of yours has been written down. I have never let any of them pass. They have a value that you cannot even imagine. And here is the revelation. Every time you cried, something moved in the spiritual world. Those tears were not in vain. They are watering your victory, and very soon you will reap something great. There are more. You know those moments when you felt completely alone? In reality, you were not. There is a heavenly army that accompanies you wherever you go, but they do not move lightly. They only act when you act in faith. Right. Activate my faith, because from this moment, things that were stagnant will begin to move. But there is something deeper here. I need you to understand that each act of faith of yours releases a new movement in the sky. Nothing stays still when you believe. Now I will tell you something. Time is not a limit for me, but there is a secret in time that few know. It is not time that heals. It is me. Time only reveals what I have already done. That means that your future is not waiting to be created. It is already done. You are just walking towards what has already been prepared. Comment. Walk in God's plan and feel the weight of anxiety begin to leave. You need to know this now. Your greatest miracle is hidden in what you fear to face. That fear you feel is not yours. It was placed in your path to prevent you from seeing what is right in front of you. But listen carefully. I have called you to go through fear, not to stop before it. Right. Go through fear and see what I will do when you take the first step. Because when you decide to walk, I decide to open the way. You know that silent prayer you made without strength, almost without believing? It was the most powerful of all. Why? Because it was pure, raw, without masks. It came to me like a cry from your soul, and I answer those prayers faster than any other. Right. God heard my prayer and began to expect the unexpected. What you thought had been ignored was actually the key that unlocked the next miracle. Comment. I believe in the impossible and see how the supernatural invades your daily life. You are about to see what no one ever believed could happen. But I always knew. You have been chosen for this, my son. With every step you take towards the light, the enemy lurks in the shadows, waiting for a moment of weakness to try to divert your path. He knows your vulnerabilities and uses them to present quick solutions to problems that are deeply rooted in your life. But I am here, speaking to your heart, giving you strength to resist, I have promised that by your side, no imbalance will be too great for you to overcome, and no lie of the enemy will be strong enough to keep you from my purpose. Always remember, you are stronger than the difficulties you face and wiser than the seductions that try to corrupt your faith. The empty proposals of the enemy are nothing compared to the fullness that I have in store for those who remain firm in my word. Seek comfort and guidance in my constant presence, because I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in difficulties. Listen carefully, my son, because I am speaking to those who are willing to listen. Sin, no matter how attractive it may seem, will always demand a price. And frequently, that price is higher than what you are willing to pay. I advise you to seek the wisdom that comes from me, 
which will allow you to discern between good and evil, choosing paths that lead to life. Abundant Messages from My Angels My angels bring messages of love and concern. They remind you that every decision you make can lead to complications that challenge your peace and stability. I urge you to look beyond the present moment and consider the eternal consequences of your actions. I am speaking with a voice that transcends time and space, inviting you to abandon the paths that lead to destruction and embrace a life of righteousness. I speak to you about the true adventure of living in alignment with my purposes. This life brings true joy and lasting satisfaction. Therefore, remain vigilant and firm in your faith, because the enemy is cunning and may use various tactics to try to discourage you. But I encourage you to lean on my promise that your light is great and your victory is assured in my strength. Know that your path is marked by victories, not only by challenges. The enemy may try to make you believe that you are weak, but with me strengthening and illuminating your path, this is the consolation that I offer. Remember that your light comes from me and is inextinguishable. The seraphim announce with clear and powerful voices that the thirst for victory I have placed in your heart is a calling to overcome and prosper. They remind you that every attempt by the enemy to tear you down is just an opportunity for your light to shine even brighter. My angels are encouraging you to leave behind what cannot be changed. They encourage you to look forward where new battles and victories await you instead of staying trapped in the defeats and pains of the past. Every day is a new opportunity to rewrite your story with a fresh perspective. Receive the freedom that comes from leaving the past behind and launching yourself into the unlimited possibilities of the present and the future. I assure you that I am with you and have already equipped you with everything you need to face and defeat the wiles of Satan. You must be a light in this world and reject anything that tries to extinguish that light. My angels bring messages of encouragement and support reminding you that you are never alone in the battle against the deceitful temptations of the enemy. They are always by your side, offering protection and guidance so that your light never goes out. My son, I guarantee that even in the face of the most seductive temptations, you have the strength to say no. I guide you to always look toward me. The source of your hope and your safe refuge against the storms caused by the enemy. My presence in your life is the guarantee that you will overcome any adversity. When you feel humiliated to the extreme, I am particularly close, extending my hands not only to lift you up, but to raise you above the circumstances that try to tear you down. My angels bring comfort and peace in times of humiliation, ensuring that you are not alone in your struggle. They whisper words of encouragement and surround you with heavenly love, remembering that humiliation is but victory in me. It is eternal. I am speaking to broken hearts, saying, Get up, for I am with you. Do not allow discouragement to knock you down. My love and my strength are enough to bring you back to wholeness and purpose. You will not only rise, but you will also prosper. God's light is enough to dispel all the darkness that the enemy can bring upon you. Trust in the continuous purification that comes from me, ensuring that old wounds remain where they belong. 
in the past. Be attentive and vigilant, my son. If you remain firm in my word and my promise, the enemy will not succeed in his efforts to drag you back into the murky waters of past wounds. I am here encouraging you to be resolute in your faith. No plan of the enemy to sink you into old wounds will succeed, as long as you are firmly anchored in the rock that is me. Do not worry about what is to come. I am the God who takes care of you at every step. I will be by your side, guiding you and supporting you. Remember that you are loved and that your life has a purpose. With faith and determination, you will find the strength to overcome each challenge. As you move forward, know that I am shaping every aspect of your life. I am an artist, and you are my masterpiece. Every experience, every tear, and every smile you have experienced is intertwined in the tapestry of your being. Do not underestimate the power of the small victories you have achieved. Every step you take towards my love is a step towards your true purpose. Dear son, there is a universe of possibilities that I have made available to you. Don't limit yourself to what you see, for there is more before you than you can imagine. Sometimes challenges may seem insurmountable, but remember that obstacles are just opportunities in disguise. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for me to demonstrate my faithfulness and my power. As you walk this journey, imagine yourself as a strong tree with deep roots that intertwine with the soil of my truth. Even when the storms of life try to shake your trunk, you remain firm, feeding on the water of my grace and the light of my love. The leaves that sprout in your life are the fruits of your faith and perseverance. And when you allow yourself to blossom, you will see that you are not alone. Other trees around you are also growing, and together they form a vibrant forest of love and hope. The road ahead may have curves and forks, but don't worry. Every choice you make, Every decision you make may seem uncertain, but I am here to guide your steps. When you feel lost, cry out to me, and I will be your lighthouse in the darkness. Sometimes the light may seem distant, but remember, I am the morning star that shines even when everything seems dark. You have within you infinite potential. I have placed dreams and aspirations that are unique to you, and they are waiting to be awakened. It is like a seed that, when planted, becomes a beautiful flower. What you need to do is nurture those dreams with faith, love, and action. Sometimes you will need the bad herbs of doubt and fear to leave space for your true self to flourish. Don't be afraid to express yourself and share your heart with the world. Your voice matters, and your experiences have the power to touch lives. When you stand up and share your struggles and triumphs, you become a light to others who are going through similar storms. Your story is a bridge that connects hearts, and your words can bring healing and hope. Remember, my beloved, that you are a blessing. Not only to me, but to those around you. As you move forward, remember to give yourself the space and grace that you often offer to others. Life is a balance, and allowing yourself to rest and rejuvenate is just as important as working hard toward your goals. You don't need to have everything under control. I am the one who holds the universe and who also takes care of you. So open your heart and allow yourself to dream. 
Believe that what is in store for you is greater than your own plans. When you surrender to my purpose, extraordinary things will begin to happen. The doors you thought were closed will open and new opportunities will arise on your path. Sometimes the unexpected can bring the greatest gifts. When you reach your destination, look ahead. Don't go back and see how much you have grown. Every experience, good or bad, has contributed to the amazing person you are today. And as you look forward, know that I will always be by your side, guiding, protecting, and blessing your life with everything you need. Together, we are able to create a future full of possibilities and wonders. So move forward with faith and courage. I am the God who walks with you every step of the way. You are loved beyond what you can understand, and your story is a story of overcoming and triumph. Trust me, dear son, and never doubt the power that you have inside. Don't be discouraged, my dear. I know that life can be difficult and that you have already faced many blows. Even if the pain is intense, do not waste the gifts and blessings I have given you. Everything that happens has a purpose, and I am always in control. Your attitude, your faith, and your belief in me can take you to a new level. When you feel weak, remember that you can feed on my word. If there are moments when you feel you cannot continue, bend your knees and look to the sky. I am there, and I am also inside your heart. My blessings are not far away. They are right in front of you. Your salvation is near, and I promise that your mountains of problems will crumble. The enemies around you have already been defeated. Now answer me. Do you believe in me and love me? When you receive your answer, I will perform a great miracle in your life. Here are three things you must do today to calm your soul and ward off anxiety. Listen carefully and let these words touch your being throughout the day, bringing you peace. One. Give me your heart totally and sincerely, without reservations or fears. My purpose is to give you eternal life, a life full of happiness. I have never had the intention of punishing you or making you suffer. My plans for you are prosperity and blessings, a life full of love and care. Give me your heart and be prepared to do my will. 2. Nourish your spirit with my word and trust me completely. Doubts may arise and trials may appear, but my word will be the anchor of your faith, giving you strength to persevere. If you decide to offer me your heart only in parts or only when it suits you, your faith will not have a solid foundation. Your life will be shaken by storms, and your thoughts and emotions will be disordered. I do not want that for you, which is why I ask you to give me your heart and maintain unbreakable loyalty and faith. You will prosper in all your endeavors. I will bless you, open doors, and resolve the difficulties that afflict you. 3. I have touched the hearts around you, friends, family, authorities, to treat you with favor. Do not fear what others may do. As long as you trust me and act with integrity, no one will be able to rise up against you or your family. Remember that I am with you every day until the end. My word has the power to heal. The force that flows from my words is enough to give life and elevate you, even if you feel unworthy of my presence. I want to enter your life, 
and your heart. There, I will write words of healing and break the chains that bind you. Your fears, anxieties, and problems will disappear because even the heavens obey my voice. I speak with clarity because I want to see your happiness, your inner peace, and the certainty of a bright future. When you spend time with me, you give me the opportunity to hug you. I guarantee you my reality, my deep love, and my protection against all evil. This is the inheritance I wish to grant you. Believe in me with all your heart and accept this inheritance. Your strength is prepared, waiting for you to be clothed with my love and transformed by the healing touch of my Holy Spirit. Now, arise and move forward, equipped with the power of my Spirit. When you face challenges, no one can defeat you. You are not weak, but strong, because you possess my love and unbreakable faith. Always remember this, for those who believe, all things are possible. I love you, and you will be fine. Trust me, because my timing is perfect. While I am preparing to bless you, I am organizing the circumstances so that when the time comes, you will receive these blessings effortlessly. Use this peace wisely. Do not react impulsively to situations motivated by emotion. Do not make important decisions without consulting me. I do not want you to get involved in misunderstandings or make agreements with false friends. I confirm through this message that I will help you. Please be patient and avoid accumulating debts as you have already faced many of them. I do not want you to overload your future. Soon, your life will be illuminated, and you will experience my grace and kindness. I will break chains and bonds, allowing you to live a life of freedom independent of anyone else. Together, we will chart a new path for you to follow. This is our secret, something shared only between you and me for a time. Keep your plans and projects close to your heart. Do not reveal our intentions, as there are envious and indiscreet people around you who may try to discourage you. The time of failure has passed, and your heart has been transformed. Now, you depend on me. You will prosper in everything you undertake, and as I mentioned before, you will be blessed. Remember, dear son, I am always by your side, even in the most difficult times. Life can be challenging, but the strength and courage you need are within you, strengthened by your faith in me. When you feel weak, it is my love that lifts you up and encourages you to move forward. Communicate with me in prayer. Trust me, and I will guide your steps. Do not be afraid to dream big because I have wonderful plans for you. Plans of prosperity and peace. Now write in your heart the certainty that everything you need is already on its way. When you move with faith, you will see doors opening and your path will be illuminated by my divine light. With gratitude and love, always remember that you are precious to me. Together, we will conquer great victories. I am here and will always be. Prayer. I trust in God and in his promises. Let us pray together with gratitude and trust. Dear God, in this moment, I come to you with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you for every day, for every blessing you grant me, and for the love that always surrounds me. 
I trust in your presence in my life. Even when the challenges seem great and the difficulties heavy, I ask you to strengthen my faith and help me remember that you are in control of all things. I can hand every worry and every fear into your powerful hands. Renew my spirit and fill my heart with hope, knowing that victory is already guaranteed in you. Help me to be firm, to seek your direction in all my decisions and to trust in your plans for my future. May my life be a testimony of your goodness and love. In the name of Jesus, amen.